Aspire has been a part of our lives almost our entire married life. We've been married 47 years, and uh, we've been coming to Aspire, which originally was Southside, um, since our little, our son was uh, two years old. He was born in 82, so does that make it about 40 years? Well, I was, I was, grew up in the church, baptized in this church, and uh, what's, ex I guess, exciting now that's changed as far as being a member for so long, and my mother was uh, one of the charter members, if you will, um, watching the diverse international way that the church is growing now, the, the lives that are being changed, that are brought into the, that are being brought into the church and forming those churches, uh, which is going out, you know, looking more like society today. And, and uh, so, you know, what, what is preached from the pulpit is what is the most important thing with this church. And I think that's stayed consistent. And that's why it's made it for 85 years. My father was actually very involved in the very first Venture to Victory, they called it, that built the gymnasium, did all the initial renovations of the church. But uh, the bridge is, is something that you realize we have to do as a church. You have to keep evolving, you have to keep growing. And I think uh, the heritage of my father doing it and being a part of that and always being uh, you know, fiscal responsibility of the church and your financial, your tithing and giving to the church is something he ingrained in us as children and all through our lives. You know, to tithe is something, as, as I say, I can't afford not to tithe. I, and I think that's what those that have been doing it for many decades, their entire lives, they realize what that means and what it is. It's not, it's not taking your money from you. It's, it's joyfully giving your money to the church. It's being a part of that, seeing how it works, what it does, the lives that it touches, helps touch. Watching the church grow and seeing what happens within the church is, is, is very exciting. And today is even more exciting, realizing what this church is becoming and continues to become as it heads to 100 years old. Just watching the, the area develop and seeing how we've played a part in the success of San Marcos Square uh, with the addition of our parking lot, to see that gymnasium being used as a community resource now is exciting because uh, that was our vision back when we initially built it. And then building community within this community is, is vital because this is it's starting to grow back, it's starting to increase population and so I think it's the fact that the church is so involved in the community is is very important to the growth of the church and the continuity that's going to come with that. I feel like God is leading us into this uh, new role of leadership uh, with the Bridge Campaign. I feel like we've been prepared with our many years of experience where maybe people are looking at us to set an example. Um, would you agree with that? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> you know, it's uh, if whatever I say or whatever I can do can influence someone young to realize if you can't fit, give something and be a part of it so that it can touch your life in the same way and you can know that you'll always have been a part of that whether you stay at this church for two more weeks or like we have for 50 more years you will still have be able to come back to this church because it will continue to exist continue to grow and be a part of it and you can say hey I help with that no matter where you are you have to look at it. First, you have to pray about it completely. You put it in God's hands and let God lead you to what it is. And you have to realize it's God's money. It's not mine. I work, I get a paycheck, whatever it is you do. And the results of what this will be is what will be most exciting. And until you, when you see those, that's what, that's what I see is coming is, is when the results, what we should just discuss of all the things we see now that came through those other campaigns and the other things that, that were, that drove this church to where it is today. And then the leadership from the pulpit. But that's just the greatest thing I see is, is the results that you'll see when all that happens. And you have to just realize that will be coming because this is a church that is committed to serving God and committed to serving the community in that manner.